Radio. It's your boy Young Shy Town, man. What's going on, world? It's the big homie DJ JT the Darling. Girl, Alana D. Rich Janae, aka Miss Lil Body. Hey, I'm Zaga Satanica. Tune in to Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. Shy Town. I'm listening to Shy Town. Urban Radio on UBM Jams. Chicago Urban Radio. Oh man, Psych Town Urban Radio, the best place to be at on a Saturday day or night, really. I'm kind of turned up right now. Um, 11.30 to 1.30 a.m., man, we're here. Now, you guys know that we're here on in Chicago on Q4 at 16.80 a.m. Also, we just made it on DSN Radio. Um, that's in New York. And now, we are officially here at the Q, or no, Core 94 radio man and it's a uh, it's a uh, something epic so we're here um i got two very special guests into the building right now man go ahead and tell the people who you is what's going on how you feeling hey what's up everybody my name is kaylon and i'm kafron we're you? solid yes we're solid okay okay definitely so <laughs> so so y'all y'all from g-town out here yeah we're from galveston okay. bois yeah, born okay. on the island. Like born okay, and raised. that must be nice. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Definitely, man. Hey, I, I went to um, Galveston not too long ago, last year. Mm -hmm. I was on the beach, and then I went to the new um, joint. What was that? Then there was a new, um, like a it was like a water park or something like that. Oh, Slitterbond. It wasn't Slitterbond. It Pleasure was, Pier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it had yeah. a Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really yeah. popular. We have a Chick-fil-A now. Yeah, we have a Chick-fil-A Chick at the... We have two Indian restaurants. I mean, we stepped up the game now. Yeah, so. we got it going on. Yeah. Oh, my God. They updated man. the movie theater. Yeah. Oh, so, 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 y'all just getting it in, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, man. So, let's go, let's go into a time machine, man. I want to go into a time machine. I want my listeners to get to know you and what you do. So, let's talk about it. Where did it all begin and where did it start? Oh, that. Jeez. Let's go way back yeah. when. Once upon a time, when <laughs> I, we were I said children. We're going to a time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> um, it all started. I mean, our mom was really big into making sure that we grew up as princesses. So she made us watch them on TV. <laughs> lots of Disney movies, <laughs> and um, we just kind of started singing. I mean, uh, it, it happened pretty randomly, honestly. Like we were on a swing set, and Kim was like. How the song go? I don't remember. I had a dream. Yeah, like, and, and <laughs> okay. I started harmonizing, and I was like, "Oh man, we're we're musicians now." Yeah, like, we started we started way young, literally on this. I think I was four, and but, she was like two. Yeah. Our parents have always like showed us different types of music and stuff like that ever since we were kids. Who were some of your influences? Oh jeez, uh, I remember the first song that I ever really liked. My mom showed it to me. It was by Linkin Park. I think it was "Crawling" or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, this is awesome!" But but that's not I wouldn't I wouldn't like influences as you know influences. our like I guess as Erica Badu and yeah. James Brown we love James Brown we Fleetwood Mac James Brown. Okay. Um, all kinds of you can really I guess it's kind of like you take all of those musics that we listen to funk soul rock and roll uh, classic rock like all of that put it together and you make sell it. Yeah. Okay. okay definitely definitely your boy your boy oh, okay I, I, I'm I'm the master in here, so y'all have to excuse <laughs> y'all have to excuse Ray. So uh, no, I am the master. Okay, so how did you guys, I guess, basically start into this music game? When was that moment you said, "Yo, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna run with it"? Well, I guess it kind of started with me because I was just messing around. Really, I really started writing music when I was probably about 17, and then um, I. Kaylin wasn't really into it at the time. She was just kind of like harmonizing with me and she would just do stuff every once in a while. But then I wrote this song called Ride, which is actually on our first EP. And I, start, yeah, I started and like playing I it, it. And I was like, I loved it so much. I was like, oh, let me sing it, you know? And yeah, it. and then that was about two years ago, maybe yeah. two and a half years ago. And that's really where it all started. We actually were cosmic first, which is yeah. really lame. But what a stupid baby. <laughs> But we thought, why not cosmic? But then, of course, our, our amazing mother, she came in. She was like, let's just combine the names. And we got so, like, you know, yeah. Capron, Kalon. And that, that, that's a, that's a very creative. Yeah, yeah, but that's really how it started was I was just messing around. I was actually writing a cover, and that's how it yeah, kind of all started. Yeah, like, Incubus, I think. No, it was Eagle Eye Cherry. Was oh, Eagle Eye Cherry. Yeah. yeah. Save tonight. 
Anyway. Mm. <laughs> I'm loving the energy in the room right now. I'm really <laughs> loving it, though. I'm digging it. Um, so was your, your parents a very influence in, into your music career? Oh, my like, gosh. Mm-hmm. I don't think we could have more supportive parents if we yeah, wanted. Yeah. These, like our dad, our dad loves Space Base, and that's not even real. And yeah, like, these two, <laughs> these two, <laughs> honestly, there's no, there are no better fans, no better support system, no better anything than our Mom parents. Dad, like, yeah. they're so they're supportive. They're our number one fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though there's two of them, they're both number one. They're number one. Hey, okay. that's what's up, man. <laughs> that's what's up. So, um... We here on Shy Town Liberal Radio, man. We're having a good time, man. Uh, DJ Ray is our guest DJ once yet again. Ooh, can I do it? Oh my God. Turn me down a little bit. Turn me down a little. Can I do it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Check it. What up, Chirac? It's your boy, the one and only DJ R A E, the real ass. Entertainer, better known as your girlfriend, boyfriend number two, your baby mama, best friend, and. Malone, I- I'm going to let you make it since Boss Lady in here. <laughs> boss Lady, I might just be your mama's baby daddy. DNA don't love fleet DJs, core DJs, disturbing the peace DJs, core 94, what it do? What it do, man? Shut <clears throat> God dog. Shout out to my sponsors. Uh, I got a good sponsor to my uh, shout out to my sponsor. She's happy here, fellas. Look, if you need to get your ladies some dog on bundles and you can't afford it, look, come to She's Happy Here. We finance, okay. And after you get your car straight, uh, after you get your hair straight, ladies, tell him to take you over to the Jiffy Lube on Six Ten and Ella. Fifteen minute oil change. Go holler, at my boy Shane. Tell him DJ Ray sent you. He'll give you a ten percent discount. And uh, if you tell him. The last skin African sent you there. He <laughs> might even give you the fifteen percent. I am done. That is all I have to say. I am done. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. What would wait. you like? Hold what, on. What, I want to know something. This, this. What, let me, what let, would me, you let like me ask know? this. What happens if you don't pay on the finance of the hair? What happens? I tell you this. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a cheetah chase a hyena? No. Okay. <laughs> have you ever seen a woman from? Cook apartments for a woman from Sunnyside. Yes. It is a little something like that. They will be pulling up the hair. The hair will be come off and you look like you just left from my village. <laughs> Boy, <Bore> hey. <laughs> I don't lie to you. I, I, I don't make this shit up. This shit is real. Oh, my God. I can't, don't laugh at me. I can't get jiggled with this. This is the truth. Oh, my God. I, yeah. I, I, I think I have a, a mix together for the two princesses that are in here. Oh, oh man. So, so, so you got something for him. I, I, look, I, I, look, I, look, I, I want to go into, I want you to do a real nice mix for him, man, because they're from G-Town. So I want you to do a real good mix for him. It depends. Do they know who the real are? Who? The, the who? real The real Uh-huh. I don't think I've heard yeah, of them. Oh, my goodness. They are from G-Town, too. I have to talk to them and tell them they have to do a better job. <laughs> I have to tell them this. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Can we do this? Accent. That is actually, that's like. Oh my God, right. Let's I, go into a mix real quick. I, 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 am, I am waiting for you, motherfucker. You have to tell let's, me you're let's the boss. Let's go into a mix. Look, this is what you're going to do. I am just I want here. you to do you. Because you're the guest DJ again. I, I don't know why you're here, but you're, but you're the no guest. No flash photography, please. No <laughs> flash photography. You could take any pictures of you want of him. He's a product of me today. <laughs> I'm a product of you. <laughs> Nigga, you're a product of me. I'm the one that has it. Oh, my fault. His kids in here. Oh my fault. My <laughs> <laughs> There's Christians in here, please. Church going they from people. The, they from the island. They might be Catholic. They'll repent. Let's go ahead. Side Good Town. talk. Side Town Liberal Radio, man. We're going to come right back. DJ Ray's on the ones and twos, man. Let's go. Oh man, DJ Ray is on the ones and two people. We're here at Sightown Urban Radio, the best place to be at any day, really. Any day. Make sure you guys follow us at Sightown Urban Radio on Instagram and Facebook. And we got my girls right here, man. Selick, what's going on? How you feeling? Good. Feeling great. Yeah. Hold on, you you said Joe girls. <laughs> oh my God. You, you know what I mean. Oh. I mean, I'm just checking. I'm just saying, man. I thought, I thought you went into management or something. I'm, I'm just checking. Oh like, you, you managed them, but you couldn't manage me. I thought I was your boy. Oh boss God. lady don't want to manage me. Look, we ain't going to bring her into a big shout out to okay. boss lady, too. She in the building. Big shout out to her. Young Generation Music, what up? I see you. 
Um, so let's let's get into it, man. So okay. now, which one is older? Me. How, by how much? Two years. Okay. Yeah. Well, two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. I'm turning 23 actually in July 18th. Okay. And I turned 25 back in March. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, she said I turned 25 back, back in, in March. March. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so she be- Benjamin Button it. You see how she did it? Hey. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So, um, as far as music goes, how do y'all go about picking the pro- production of music, like as far as producers and stuff? Um, it really depends. Uh, a lot of times, I'm just messing around on my rolling, and then sometimes though we have our um, our producers like they'll. Is uh, Phil from R and P back But like our main producer is actually also our camera guy. It's the amazing, wonderful yeah. Gary right there. Okay. Gary over there. Up, he up, helps up, make stuff. <laughs> Sometimes our, our our boy Phil will just like and Ruben they'll whip something up and be like, Hey, yeah. Selick, this sounds really good. Do you want to do do this? And we'll do um, it. Yeah, a lot of times when it comes to producing, we really just kind of go where we're either making it ourselves, yeah, or we're making it with Gary. Or we have just people just give it to us, make us something. Yeah, that's really that's how that goes. Yeah. It's really a. It's not really that. It's just kind of like whatever whatever's happening at the time is yeah. how we go with it. There's no really like there's no formula to it. We just kind of yeah. Yeah. When it happens, uh, it, it's magical. It's magic. I yeah. like that. <laughs> um, were you guys ever in choir growing up or any? I was. Okay, what were you? I I am um, I am a hard alto. I look at my voice just cracked. No, I have a very, I was in choir from sixth grade all the way up to my freshman year at college. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know. And then I, I, uh, I'm actually trained in classical piano, so, Ooh. which was really difficult for me. So because, impressive. <laughs> no, shut up. No. <laughs> She was a she's a classical violinist, so I don't know. I was in a mariachi band. I was in a band. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready for this. Hold on. I wasn't ready yet. No, no. 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 So I don't know so, why she's okay. giving me meds. So I'm gonna ask this, and it's yeah. the reason why I'm asking this. Okay, yes. I, I'll explain it to you after you answer my question. Jesus. So you you're a violinist. Yes. Okay. How long have you been playing the violin? Honestly, I haven't played the violin in forever, but I'm pretty sure if I can, if he's handed to you right now, I'm pretty sure I can play. She YouTube. started when yeah. she was uh, 10. Thank wow. you, older sister. Yeah, older okay, sister. Yeah, no, older mama not even answering. answering. The older sister's answering. Hey, so I'm good. Mike is right there, mom. Hey, she already yeah. know what, what, how to go. It's a mama hey, It's a family affair, of course. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ask that because... Yeah. As you can see, I, I DJ, but I also sing. Okay. And not only do I sing, not only do I sing, yeah, y'all can laugh. It's okay. Not only do I sing, I play five different string instruments. I play the violin, I play the viola, I play uh-huh. the cello, I play the upright bass and the electric bass. Mm-hmm. So, wow. yeah, when you say string instruments, it's like that's that's my zone right there. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like I'm chilling. Like I yeah. like that. So you so so do you ever incorporate that with your music? You know the the talents that you have. Honestly, ever since um, we 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 found like a bunch of producers, we really haven't been doing much like hands on types in instrumentals. You know what I'm that's saying? That's not like, quite. That's not quite true. I when mean, she when she it's, says it's that, it means like like, acu- like, like acoustically. Yeah, like, like, like I've the gotten more. In the yeah, I've gotten more into. Like I'm getting into producing myself. It, you know, I have this big old Roland. And it has all of these sounds. So I've been playing more with that okay. than I've been playing with like classical piano sounds. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's. And so we kind of because we have kind of this uh, this trip hoppy sound, I guess. And like you, if you put the classical piano in there, I think that it'll take it to like '90s ish. Yeah, like, it, gets, it gets real '90s real yeah. fast. I heard the music, your music, and um, now when I was jamming into it with Boss Lady, the Candyland. A yeah. Candyland joint is, is crazy, man. Um, it reminds me of um, a all. You ever heard of um, that song "Wake Me Up Inside"? Yeah, yeah. It kind of <laughs> reminds me of a <laughs> alternative, <laughs> like a alternative sound yeah. to it. So, yeah. um, me personally, I think you guys have a crossover type of sound. Oh, I you. told I told Boss Lady thank that, you. and I believe that you keep on striving, you keep on pushing, you you make. Good things happen, though. Thank you. So, Thank you. So when you guys go into the studio, now as a group, how do you guys manage to figure out what's going to happen in a song? Um, we, honestly, there, there's no real direction. Okay, I'm going to, like, not confession, to we are so, like, we are passionate, but we are not serious, okay? Like, <laughs> when we are writing a song, we are just, like, firing out ideas Anything, yeah. and they sound so crappy at first but 
really what we're trying to do is we're just trying to figure out we're, we're like filling in the spaces that like we hear yeah you know? like we figure out the melody way before we figure out the words and then but the weird thing about Candyland actually is that we wrote Candyland in like 10 minutes you okay. know like, it didn't take very long to write Candyland that's cause like, like the lyrics usually like a lot of times we try to get like too deep with the lyrics like for no reason but this yeah. time we're like you know let, let's just do something easy let's and, do like, something fun. fun you know yeah. we were just kind of like let's do something <laughs> fun and our producers uh, Ruben and Phil actually already had that beat and um, Ruben was like, ladies, 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 like, we have this beat. You guys should totally be on it. And all, Kaylon just started singing, we're going to Candyland. And I was just like, oh. And then I started, oh, and then it just, I, I, hear, I hear the voice. In the <laughs> she just, I like how she did that, right? This bust out in, in song and tune. See, y'all, y'all was talking about me earlier when I started my mix. <laughs> but, like, when she hit that right there, the only thing I could think of right there was, do you want to build a snowman? Oh, my God. Does it have to be a snowman? <laughs> oh That's actually God. my favorite song from the, from see, the movie. See? Yeah. I oh like this God. song, too. My daughter's like that. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, now, you songwrite as well. Yes. Okay, so how do you, what is that process like? What is that process? How do you get into writing a song? Honestly, all of our songs, like, from the EP and, like, everything else we've all written ourselves. Do do we honestly we honestly just just oh, we just go for it like honestly the idea this idea oh. that you know i mean i'm sure some songwriters do have it but like as for us and actually a lot of songwriters that we know we're just kind of like we just kind of go where this it this sounds so stupid but you just go where the song takes honestly you. i think that like us you being know? sisters like it helps like the whole dynamic a lot yeah, better does. than anything else you know because like we're, we're pretty much we're, we're literally like the same DNA, we think like. a lot alike so i mean it's, it's really not too hard to come up with something and then so it's kind of like just when it when it starts sometimes sometimes it has a hard time starting but once it starts it just it it's just, just rolls, going you know yeah. it's not like I, we're not pulling on any specific experience if anything we're really pulling on um, our vibes of that moment, you real, know, real, real. like whatever yeah. we're thinking about at that time, however we're feeling at that time, be it happy, sad, and love and hate, like that's that's where it's gonna go, yep. you know. Okay, definitely, man. Just in three words, describe your personalities. Oh, geez. like do I need to describe hers or describe? You know what? Um, yeah, let's make it fun. Describe each oh, other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, let, let me go first. Okay. Okay. Capron personality, I'd say she was definitely like independent. I think she's silly. And what are you gonna say? Independent and hmm, really like really. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think they're gonna last so much. What do you think, Mommy? Passionate. And passionate, yeah. All right. Okay, Kayline. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Actually, I would use silly to describe her as well. Um, I would actually, I would actually also use silly and independent are two words. I guess you could use to describe the both of us. But the third word would be confident. Real, I like that. Yeah. I like it. This is so sentimental. <laughs> it makes me cry. <laughs> Definitely. So, um, like, who would you like to work with going into the future? And like, as far as artists go, oh, who would you like man. to work with? Me personally, I would love to work with Erica. About you. That'd be so cool. Mm. I feel like she'd like us. Yeah. Um, I'm going with Andre 3000. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's yeah. That's deep right there. Yeah. He's, he's like, so bombed. Honestly, I think Outkast is probably one of our number one yeah, inspirations. And um, if I could work with, if we could work with Andre 3000, I'd be in on that. I'd be like, yes. My life would be complete. Yeah, that'd be cool. Everybody was great. But you know, they used to be a couple. They have a son together. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Hey. Hey, he hit that right there. He liked that. Hey, give him that green light. Okay, definitely. So, 11.30 to 1.30 a.m. with your boy, DJ Malone. Now, for you guys, this is our second episode right here. On excuse, me, excuse 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 me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to disrespect. But I, I just have to say... The first episode with DJ Ray was the best episode ever. Uh, <laughs> Kanye. Kanye you you going to cut my mic off because I, I had a Kanye moment? I made, I'm, I'm about to make the biggest announcement in radio history. All right, go ahead. Now, I, I mean, t- I, mean I, I had a Kanye moment. I'm sorry. Yes, you, you did good. 
And for those who want to check it out, go to Facebook.com slash Psychon of a Radio. You can check out the latest podcast. If you like that plug, didn't you? Hey, that, that was very nice. I, I, I came up here and that she can't everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was here like this. Hello today. What are you looking at? Oh, oh yes. I do this for the read. Hey, and that joint that you played? Yo, I, I have to. I, I appreciate that that little sound effect that you gave me. You know, it, Child Town Urban Radio exclusive. Fleet DJ is exclusive. It is exclusive. I, nah, you know why? Why? Cause I'm DJ Ray. Get out. Of here. <laughs> right, look, look. It's your baby mama's best friend, your girlfriend's boyfriend number two, and it might just be your mama's baby daddy. DJ DNA, DNA does not lie. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, but they can misplace it. Oh, it ain't get misplaced. <laughs> I had the police escorted all the way to the lab and all the way back. Mari had them results. Mari said, I'm 99.999.999.9% sure you are. Not that baby's dad. I said, hey, man. <laughs> but that is that one percent, though. <laughs> oh, you just want to be my son. It's okay. Oh. What? <laughs> Anyways, hey man, I really did like that joint. That mess over joint. Messed up. Messed up. See, 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 see. Hey, see, look, man. See. Hey, it's so hot. It got me kind of, kind of crazy, man. It got me kind of it, it, it's, 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 it's so hot. It's so messed up. It got you messed up, right? Yeah, man. So. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Yes, that was an exclusive that DJ Ray got because DJ Ray is the real ass-titted entertainer, no and he's just that awesome. I mean, hey, I, hey, I, I would, I would, I would drop my plug again, but the daddy's sitting right here and the mama's sitting right there. And I don't want to get in no trouble. I mean, I, I might just be your mama's baby daddy. I ain't lying. I'm, I'm just playing it with a joke, Mister Huxtable. I don't want no hey, trouble, hey, hey, Mister Huxtable. Hey, you see, you see, daddy. <laughs> Hey, you see, Daddy? Don't hey, he don't don't mess with him. He'll he'll put you in the trunk. L- and ch- really, he started reaching for his right side. That's his strong side. Hold on. Oh. So he said he got a gun that shoots twelve times before he cocking and six times after he pulled the trigger. Don't turn this robbery into a homicide. Oh my! <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about this, man. I want. I want. No, messed up. Let's talk about this. All right. How did you guys come up with this, man? Because it was it was it was hot. I really liked it. The production, the lyrics, everything. So how did you guys come up with the joint? All right, so we know this DJ. Well, he's a producer, producer Brandon, Brandon Blanco. Blanco yeah. Cool dude, okay. cool dude. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Um, you said Brandon? Brandon yeah. Blanco. Blanco. Yeah. Brandon Blanco? Yeah. yeah. For real? Uh huh. I ain't never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, maybe y'all knew each other. I was other. like, you know, you yeah, I was like, you do you go to school with him or something? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, that's what I was but, thinking. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, but he came over and he had this beat and we were just like, we want that one. And honestly, it's way, not way out, but it's a lot different than kind of what we usually go for. Okay. And we were just like, well, let's, you know, we just wanted to try something different. And, and we did. We did. And we, we we were like, let's make a party song. That was our version of party and song. And yeah, that's our version of a party song. Turn up. No. Um, no, it's pretty it's pretty chill still, you know, like yeah. pretty, like low key. But honestly, because the song reminded us of just being like really, really just like I don't want it. Like I'm I'm chilling. I don't want to deal with nobody. Because like all, all women, we, so, sometimes you just like just want to hang out by yourself and not do Yeah, dudes, you just want to. You know yeah, and that's what like, the song is about. Real, the song is real. about like being able to just not be thing. bothered yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. i'm i'm minding my own business i got my drink go i don't want to dance with you if you want to buy me my There's drink go for it dude, like, like sneaking up behind you like you know you want to dance it's, it's like, like no i don't want to feel your boner on my thigh yeah okay oh, like, oh that my. is the whole oh, night wow wow <laughs> wow whoa <laughs> no whoa is it true, is it true? Hey, is it y'all excuse true? me real quick happens. excuse me real quick Mr. Huxley. Dad, y'all don't, dad. Have, y'all don't have a security team? I'm sorry. I, I, Eli. Dad, come like, on. Like dad. the book of Eli. Okay, so Eli. Okay, so so do you do you y'all, you don't have no security team for them? <laughs> like like he like wants you, one. Look, he wants look, one. Look, 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 look. If if you need security, you let me know. Cause don't, we don't, don't, we don't show him that. Oh don't show okay. him that. Don't, don't okay. pay Cause, attention. Don't Cause I'm telling you, for, for, for my daughter, Stay away for my from daughter, him. when my daughter, if my, I have a 19 year old and then we have a four year old. Okay? You have about a 19 year old? Yes. Yes. So every year that He's I had. 50. E- every. He's 50. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felicia. So every year that my, bir- that my daughter had a birthday, I went out and got me a new pistol. For her 15th <laughs> birthday, I went and got me an assault rifle. For her 18th birthday, I not only got her a truck, but I went and got me two fully automatics and a Tommy gun. And that's my prized possession. So so you step incorrect to my daughter 
it's going down in the DM. You understand what I'm oh saying? My gosh. Okay, so so if you need a bodyguard, I got you. Yeah. But I, I, she's uh, like, no, I, 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 I want to. Good talk. I, I, I pieces. I think a, I think a Drew Hill. Tell you a little piece. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, that's just me. I don't I don't either. See see, I'm glad somebody else in here is a music yeah. junkie. Yeah. All right. I got a whole, I got a whole other I want to do a double dip. But, but see, but see, this, this one right here that I'm gonna play, I, I don't think y'all ready for this jelly. I, I, I need, I need you to do a double dip. That's what I need you to do. Okay, so, so, so how about this? How about I put my hand up on her hip, she put her hand up on my hip. When I did, she did, we did. I understand her father's in it when you said I wasn't talking all nasty, it's a dance. Dad, dad, you're cool. You not know it's a dance, dad, dad, it's not that. I'm chilling. Me, 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 Oh, that rhymes. You can be a musician, songwriter. He, he, he's a musician. That's gonna be the lyric in our next song. If y'all need somebody to sing hooks for y'all, oh, seriously, I'll be a society. I do sing. I'm gonna eat some pizza. Bye. Can y'all go ahead and eat some pizza real quick? Let's do this. Let's she do was this. like, for real? Like, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Let's, let's. I want to hear them sing live. What? You gonna sing live? Yeah, I mean, we'll totally do it. Okay. Sing Lemon. I don't know. Y'all think, how about this? This is what we're gonna do. Since we were talking about Skittles and, and Reese's peanut butter cups, okay. Malone, yeah. I got a treat for you. Okay. Another Fleet DJ exclusive. Another Fleet DJ. I'm, I, I, I'm about to go ahead and drop this wonderful song. You probably think of the old Milton Bradley game from back in the day, but but now we ain't even talking about that. We we talking about Candyland yeah. right here Good on. on Core ninety four. Track Town Number Radio. Which is on core94.com. <laughs> but no, the we shout out Urban Radio. radio yes, simulcast on core94.com. Yes, I apologize. Yes, yes, I apologize. Yes, that's, yes. That's, that's my that's my get it right. Thing. But guess what? While I'm getting that right, they're gonna be getting their vocals together because as soon as we come out of Candyland, they dropping us with a uh, acapella hook. Hey, all right. Oh my God. What are we doing? Limit. Oh my God. I'm about to get the Barry White for you. Check it Check out. It. Well, I done hopped up on this dang radio. It's the boy, Mr. R-A-E to the O. I'm a chunk on this trunk. Pop like I'm full. It's the motherfucking yep, I'm chunking up that foe. Core94.com, where we at it. Motherfuckers round here, they dressed in all black. We got the light skinned twins, the pretty brown eyes. Motherfucking, yep, I got to tell you no lies. Now that boy Damon on my right, like Crip tonight. That boy Malone on my left, you know he got it. Hold on, keep it strong. From Shot Town to damn Chirac. It's the motherfucker, yep, I keep it Glock in my back. Now I'ma sing this beat slow. Shot Town Urban Radio, where to do? Baby, come one more time. What you got? What you say? Come one of you, tell me later. Damn, those words you spoke, they're lies. Moon fed us is all I see. The thought in our sight will make us wise. I look. Take me away to where 
Y'all robbing me real quick. Y'all ready? Right, Somebody say go, go. I said, shut down Urban Radio. No, said, shut down Urban Radio. That's right, baby. Shut down Urban Radio. I will it too. Shut down Urban Radio. Child of the radio, man. Give a round of applause. Everybody clap in the studio. Yay. Hold on. Hold on. You ain't clapping. Yay. Hater. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Anyway, man. Hey, I, 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 I want to give a couple shout outs. First of all, I want to shout out for these three girls right here. These three women. Miss Ashley, Renisa, KT Lace. They've been real good sports and shout everything. Out to the models. Shout out to the models. Yeah. Hey, the and, beautiful um, models. If you guys want to book them, man.